Junior Senior. G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming. And today we're having a look at a, well this is a special request. And it was done by uh, Kabini Gaming. Now this is the Kenworth W900 Long Legacy Sleeper. And it is by uh, Dimitri68 and Stas556. Now when I first saw this truck in the game, I thought, oh my goodness, this is a massive truck. And it's actually going on the uh, w, Kenworth W900, which has now become my brand new favorite. But this is not just any Kenworth 900. It is the limousine version of the uh, Kenworth 900. Now, uh, what we'll do is we'll first have a look and we'll go into the um, customization. And then we'll uh, have a look in there. Now, just so you know, this is... Also, this is the latest patch, which is the 1.12 uh, patch, so it is working in there. So let's go have a look, shall we? So, f what is that? There's a fire underneath my truck. Holy moly, look at that. Somebody put it out, please. <laughs> I'm not sure what's happened there, but look, obviously this was originally made for the 1.11 patch, but it still works in 1.121. Uh, but there's just a little fire underneath. I don't know what the what that is. We'll have a look later on when we get outside to see if it's still there. But as for cabin selection, you only get the one. Well, that's fair enough. Now, eh, with the chassis, it is the 6x4. Engines, you can choose between... Now, there's a large selection of engines here. You can choose between the 370 horsepower, 400 horsepower... And there is another 400 horsepower, at, but it's got the actual different uh, torque ratio there. Then there is the 450 horsepower, the 500 horsepower, and the 550 horsepower. And if that's not enough, it's the 600 horsepower we have here. So look, I'm going to select the 600 horsepower, as always. I need to have that heaps of that power. And then we are going to the gearboxes. Now, this is what I like in a mod, and it is a lot of selection. We had a, a pretty large choice there of engine. Now we've actually got a large choice for gearboxes. So we've got the 14 speed here, and the 10 speed. No, I think that's a 6 speed there, is it? Yeah, it's a 6 speed. A 10 speed, a 10 speed retarder, a 14 speed, a 14 speed retarder, and an 18 speed retarder so I'm not sure what happened to the 18 speed there but never mind now uh, let's go the 14 speed shall we and uh, oh, what I'm gonna do, actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select that one there and we'll try it out to see if it is a six speed and then we'll go to the uh, service center to see and we can upgrade there at any time so now interior look at this. This is magnificent. This is a definite tribute to the Kenworth name. It is beautiful. Look at the grain on the leather seats. That is awesome. You know, the steering wheel itself, I mean, look, it's not jagged or jittery or, or, or anything. It's very smooth. And all those gauges on there. That's awesome. That is absolutely brilliant. That's what I love to see. Even the roof and the CB up there is very detailed. So that's great. Uh, only the one option here. So, you know, we have the left-hand drive, not the right-hand drive. Never mind. You know, you can't win them all. Uh, I don't know about how hard it is to change from right-hand drive to left-hand drive. But um, I would assume it's just flipping over of textures and models. But never mind. Uh, now for paint jobs, we have Black Knight, we have the Celestial Blue, we have Dark Scarlet, we have Deep Aquamarine, mm, yeah, it's definitely deep, uh, Deep Basalt and Emerald Green, I don't know, that, is it green? So, yeah, it is, it is. 
Uh, we have Pacific White and Royal Grey. Now, that does not look like a Pacific White to me. That looks like a, a nice blue, but not a Pacific White. And a Royal Grey. Same with that. So I think the colours are actually mixed up. That green back there, I don't know. I think that might have a slight tinge of green, or it looks grey to me, I think. So I think the colours are, are actually mixed up in there. Never mind, look, you just select the colour you like. Don't worry about the names, it's no big deal. And let's go black, shall we? And accessories, everyone's favourite part. Let's start at the front like we always do. We have bumpers. So that's the first one there that's default. The second one has a little rebel sort of uh, flag symbol there with Kenworth. There is that, the looks to me like, a lot like the standard Kenworth bumper. And then we have the American Eagle with, looks like there you can actually put on a whole heap of other things like uh, bumper, bull bar. Oh, that doesn't look too bad, that. I think I'm going to leave that one on there. Uh, then we can put on some lights on the side if we want. And side light amber. Um... No, I think that looks silly. I think that looks a bit silly there like that. Let's just take that off. Now, uh, we go up to the sides here. Next up is mirrors. And I'm going to put them on because I need as many mirrors as I can get, I think. And next one is these little emblems here. Now, that's the convoy rubber duck. I thought the truck in that movie was a Mac, not a Kenworth. So, uh, don't know why that's on there, but anyway, look, it's it's a nice little feature that they add on there anyway. So, uh, the Flying Goddess, uh, that looks good. I am going to go the uh, Chrome, uh, that one there. I'm going to go that swan looking thing, the duck or swan or whatever it is. Looks like a swan to me. I'm going to go that one. And now, let's have a look at Bug Shields. Ooh, that's got the Kenworth logo on there, but I like that one. I like that one better. It seems to go with the bonnet a bit better, so we'll put that one on. Now, let's have a look at visors. We only get one choice in a visor here, but that's okay. Uh, you can't put any lights on there like with the previous W900 that we had a look at, but never mind, that's all good. Uh, down here we have the air cleaner. Uh, only one choice for air cleaner. Um, never mind. Uh, maybe you might have. Uh, maybe they could have put a painted version of it. That would have been good. And the chrome mirrors. Only the chrome. And then up the top here, you get roof accessories. Which, what else would you want on there? But big horns. There we go. Look at that. Over this side, mirrors again, one side, so one lot, which is chrome. Now, on the roof, there is this big air thing. I think it's like an air conditioner on the top there. And you can also put in there lights if you want. So, we chuck on some lights. Do 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 do. Because with this truck, you really want everyone to see you coming. Now, wings. There's a wing there, but what's this one here? That's also the wing as well, so I don't know why that's gone in two spots. I think maybe that is for if you want a wing, you know, you're on that side, and then you shift over to this side, see how it hides. So let's leave that big wing on there. That looks like a big spoiler on there. It looks awesome, I think. Now, what else do we have? We have here... Ah, oh, the steps. So, I'm going to put that one on there, or you can get that one, which if we slide around, we have a look down here. There's the steps. And if we change it, that's got the toolbox on there as well. Still got the two steps, but it's got toolbox on there. So, I'm going to chuck that on there. Looks quite good. Now, for the rear fenders, you can get the standard one that has a Kenworth on there, which is pretty nice. I like that. But... It would have been nicer to have it on the back as well. Bit of a shame, but never mind. 
Then we have the half fender, which if we have a look there, it just covers half the, just the front set of wheels there. And then the full radius. I like the full radius. I think that's actually really good. Um, a bit of a shame that you can't choose anything else but chrome. Uh, I know that some people don't like as much chrome. Uh, I love chrome on these trucks. But, um, you know, the options there are, are good to have options. So Now, for the rims, you, if we click on them, we can do the standard rims. Um, now, the stacks here, I'm not sure if they're part of a, a different mod. I, I thought I took out all the mods uh, in this game, um, all the other trucks. but So that's actually just popped up there. So... I'm not 100% sure. Double check on that if it is in there. Um, I particularly don't like that one. I think it looks silly. Uh, so I'm going to go with the uh, America. And we'll leave that on there. Now, here we have... Oh, that's the steps on the side. Um, oh, there was that there. Um, there is a big sl strip of lights that goes all the way along... I am not 100% sure. I'll leave that on there. I think it looks a little bit... Sort of looks a little bit dicky. But, um, look, let's leave that on there. And I think that does... Yeah, that does it on both sides as well. Now, the uh, in the rims as well, you can... For the rear rims, you can actually go uh, a whole heap of different selections as well. Um, Absolute Fury. No, I'm still going to stick with the America ones. Yeah, they look they look good. Other than that, that is pretty much it for all the accessories on the outside. Now that is a lot to choose from there. That'll keep you very very busy. Now if we go back on the inside here, you can select a couple of things that are already selected on the outside, but that is it. There is no more other things to choose from. Which is fine. I mean, look at it. it looks pretty good as it is. So that's it. Let's confirm this one. And we will do a trade in from the other mod. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Now, this is what I love to look at. But because this is an extra long one, I think it's going to be. Oh no, it's not. It's going to do it properly. I thought it was going to cut halfway through the truck. But it didn't. Look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous the detail on there looks very very nice even the little badges the decals on the side there really good we actually just cut through the truck there but I don't think it can can help it really to be honest but and there we go there's the outside view and that looks wonderful look at it this is gonna be a real beast to drive around ah oh, absolutely wonderful so if we have a look, there's look the little detail here. There's troll faces on there. Uh, there is the uh, Palmia, uh, You're Not Forgotten. I think that's a Vietnam thing um, on there. So other than, I'm not sure. Maybe, may not be. I'm not 100% sure. But look at the tail there. That looks really nice. It's got a lot of detail on there. Even the flames there with the Kenworth badges. The grill itself. I mean, look at it. That is a lot of detail there. So awesome. I can't wait to test this truck out. I'm going to go over to the Twitch channel today. Um, I'll, what I'll do is I'll, I'll let, let you know uh, when I've actually gone on the Twitch channel by uh, Facebook. Whenever I go on there, so check Facebook. And if you see that um, I'm actually on Twitch or heading over to Twitch... Uh, I'll say, look, going on Twitch in about 10 minutes, um, and then we'll start doing a, a Twitch broadcast. But uh, I haven't really got a schedule yet, but we'll be getting one soon. So, let's start this up. And there's those original sounds. Love it. That sounds like a Kenworth to me. That is brilliant. Let's jump inside, and we will take this over to the service center. If I put it in gear... Uh, hit the right button too. That always helps. Okay, so... I gotta go outside. Listen to that engine. 
look at that. That is huge. Absolutely massive. I don't know if we're going to be able to turn around the, the uh, European streets with this. Okay. That is awesome. Let's see, what other paint jobs can we get here? No, just the standard. We can go the custom. Hey, look, that's pretty good. That looks awesome. It would have been good if we could have those stickers there, if they would um, change color as well, but never mind. Oh, I see. I see what it's doing. Ah, uh, right, okay. So it's got the base color and it's changing the whole lot at the same time. Right, so it does change the stickers as well. Uh, let's see. What happens if we go to yellow? Um, that's very interesting, that. It's just you just got to play around with this, I think, because it's to get those right colors, because it's changing whole heaps of things on there. So I mean, it's got purpley, bluey sort of color going on. Uh, wow, look at that! That you could play with this for ages. Try pink, even have a look at that. No, look, it's not pink not going to let you do pink but it does a purpley color so that is very very interesting that very interesting hmm I think that I am going to just choose the blackest of black and leave that there confirm that please and now as for the upgrade shop we always check this just to see if there's anything extra in here in most cases there's not but it's always worth checking anyway. I mean, no. I mean, there was that uh, other mod that we came across where it did have the um, number plates that were in there in the window. But other than that, it does look like just the standard little dots there for the accessories. That fire's still going on down there. I have to do something about that. And inside, yeah, that's the same. No biggie. Look, that's good that you get to select everything from the start. Awesome. So, now we've got to turn this thing around. Is that fire still under there? Let's turn it on. Oh, we turned the truck off. Listen to that. No, fire's gone. It's only in that menu. So that's good. We really don't want a fire going on. There we go. Back her up and get her into the sun. I th think... Listen to that sound, that's nice. Is that me or is that... Look at the windscreen wipers. The windscreen wipers are bobbing up and down on the front. Look at that. <laughs> that's interesting. <laughs> Alright. That's funny, the windscreen wipers bob up and down. <laughs> it's like eyebrows. Okay, so now that's out in the sun there. And there we go. Listen to all those sounds that you get with this. That's really good. So we turn that off. And look, there we are, folks. That is the Kenworth W900 Long Legacy Sleeper by uh, Dimitri68 and Stas556. And this was requested by uh, Kabini Gaming. Now, guys, if you ever have any requests for any games, any mods, anything that you'd like me to do, or, my, or myself or Junior, then please just put it in the comments or send us an email. Email links always down the bottom. And links for any mods that we uh, do always down the bottom. Check the um, description. And that's pretty much it for me, guys. Look, keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down. I'm 10-10 on the side. And remember, game on! If you want to see the standard version of the Kenworth W900, click on the link over here. If you want to see the DAF 3600 ATI, click on the link just down there. So what are you waiting for guys? If you're still watching me, then you haven't clicked on either this link or this link. Come on. Click on a link, guys. I want to go play Euro Trucks. Look, if you don't click on a link, I'm just going to go. Look, fine. 
Right, that's it. I'm going. I'm going to play. I want to go play Euro Trucks. You're still there, aren't you? Guys, pick a link. That's it. Pick a link. You know you want to. Right, that's it. I'm out of here for good. See you guys.